The following segment is sponsored by Creature Comforts Veterinary Resort and Suites. Welcome back. When somebody in your family isn't feeling their best, they're usually able to tell you. But if it's your pet, the communication is not that simple. Craig Lambert and Dr. Donna Lambert are here from Creature Comforts Veterinary Resorts and Suites along with uh, Scout the Boxer today, one of your three? Four. four. One of your four. <laughs> so thanks for being here, Scout. I had best guest of the day, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> since February is National Pet Dental Health Month, we want to start with bad breath. Bad breath can indicate something more serious, right? Yeah, bad breath can mean that your dog has excessive germs and bacteria in the mouth and can lead to periodontal disease, which is just basically inflammation of the gums. Sometimes tooth root infection has a bad smell. And we talked about it last week. You can actually learn to brush the, the teeth or the Absolutely. dog can learn to accept it anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. that's the best thing you can do for your dog's teeth and gums. Okay. Yes. But there are additives and things that make it Yeah, if your simple. dog won't tolerate that, there's definitely other options. All right, yeah. perfect. What if you notice that your animal is chewing only on one side of their mouth? What are they trying to tell you there? It could mean that they have either a broken tooth or an infected tooth, something causing pain. And some pets get oral cancer a lot. So you should always have your vet look for oral tumors, you know, gum masses, things like that. Those can also be very, very painful. All right, another sign that a pet owner might want to notice. If the dog's gums are, are turning black, I guess pigment changes might happen. That could mean a lot of different things. It could be completely normal. A lot of dogs have black pig pigmentation on their gums or on their tongue. But sometimes, like I said, oral tumors can be pigmented and that could sometimes be abnormal. So you should always have your vet check it. Okay, well we talk sure. about the, the dental stuff today, obviously, because February is a great time to spread awareness about uh, animals. Yeah. teeth it is uh, pet dental month talk to us about the dental services that you provide we do basic cleanings we do um, dental x-rays which give us a picture of what's going on beneath the gum line there's a whole lot of structure under the gum line that you can't see mm -hmm. um, we do um, complicated uh, surgical extractions um, Anything beyond just your basic surgical extraction, we're going to refer you to a specialist, but we can do um, really, yeah, we do just basic cleaning and all that as well. And, and there's really, that's the best way to do it is to have your dog anesthetized and done safely. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure that's the preference. Yes, and we'll be doing a free dental exam during the yeah. month of February. Oh. So if they want to call our number, you can get that set up and a veterinary technician will take a look inside the dog's cat's mouth. And a free dental yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. You two you opened need. Creature Comforts Veterinary Resort and Suites in 20, 2008 mm -hmm. and it's grown into a 47 room pet hotel with luxury suites inside a great daily veterinary clinic with a yeah. huge day camp business. So talk to us about what sets your facility apart. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. We have climate controlled suites. There's no cages. Um, we use specialized air to treat the air and try to keep our communicable diseases down. We all know that's the number one threat. I was just telling your team earlier, Scout's a year old. She's never had a nail trim and her nails look like she just came from the beauty salon because she's in day camp every day. Uh -huh. So I mean, her feet are tough. She could probably walk across fire, you know, but but that's it, they're social animals. They want to be with other dogs. I just gave a tour yesterday and this dog's three years old and hasn't really been around other dogs. And I said, well, we're gonna turn him into a dog, you know, bring him back and we'll we'll get him going, you know. So there's socialize a way that you- them. Yeah, socialize yeah. them. They wanna be social. And they're, I they're love that if they're staying the night with you, they're in their own suite. I always feel bad for a dog thinking that they're listening to a bunch of other barking. They're in an unfamiliar place, but that's not the case mm. with you. Yeah, yeah. They and have go their check own our little webcams. room. It's quiet. They don't see or hear the other dogs. So it's really relaxing and less stressful. We've got five live webcams you can watch anywhere in the world. We get about 20 countries and 200 cities a week that watch those cameras. It blows my mind. People yeah. want to keep a close eye on their puppies these yeah. days. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Anything else before we let you go this week about what's happening at Creature Comforts? Yeah, we're mm. doing some renovations. We're, you know, putting a bunch of money back into the facility here in the next couple of months and doing right. some upfitting and it's going to look the pretty good. The parking lot's going to get paid. Yeah, <laughs> these are all things, you know, as a small business yeah. owner, they're huge milestones for yeah. us. We're going to look better and be better. All right. Yeah. Right. Well, in the coming weeks, I know we'll field a lot of more questions about maybe some of the things your dogs are trying to tell you. I'm interested in the one where the dog starts chewing up your, your belongings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What could that mean? That could mean 
anxiety. It could mean boredom and lack of exercise. A sure. lot of dogs need way, way, way more exercise than they get. Another reason to get them to doggy yep. day camp. Yeah, right? yep. we always said if we didn't have, we just said it today, if we didn't own Creature Comforts, we would be one of their best clients yeah. because Scout would be in there every yeah, day. Yeah, they really need lots she of inter that. or stimulation. Physical activity is huge for yep. a lot of dogs. That's Especially a boxer. I know. Our net worth goes down every day that she's in her home. So, you know. <laughs> sure. But they give so much love. Of course. That's exactly. All of course. Yes. Well, She's you can learn more it. about Creature Comforts Veterinary Resort and Suites in Inman online at Creature Comforts Resorts, visiting the website. And the phone number is right there on your screen. Creature Comforts resort.com is that website craig and donna thank you so much for being here we look thank forward you. to having you back soon thank you thank very you. much all right we'll Thanks. send it back to you in the studio